just want to share with you a couple of my observations which came from working in the corporate world. I worked for some of the best companies in the world at the time in the IT industry, very large uh, businesses, lots of people, lots of dynamics uh, to deal with. And, you know, over the course of my uh, corporate career, which is sort of 10, 15 years, I learned a few things, observed a few things. And I just thought I'd share with you a couple of things that I think might be quite interesting or helpful to you in your career journey. In my experience, the people who were successful in corporate business environments where there's a lot of hierarchy, a lot of uh, business divisions, the people who did the best were people who got on well with other people. People skills trumped uh, skills, if you like, hard skills, technical skills. Being able to get on well with people, being able to uh, relate, build rapport, be trustworthy, be someone that people liked, being people that uh, you know you'd like to go and have a beer with on Friday. Generally speaking, those people did incredibly well in their corporate lives. They were promoted, opportunities were presented to them. They've got more favourable work more favorable projects if you like so generally speaking being a a nice all-rounder able to get on well with people will always put you in good stead in business environments the second thing I observed was that uh, you know where people get promoted to doesn't always correlate to their skills their experience and so on you get a lot of people who end up into quite senior roles who who quite frankly just don't have the skills or the qualifications and you know they are often um, you know from the outset they have their own kind of concerns about their abilities and they'll often Often display this in kind of weird and wonderful ways with their personality and their style uh, because they're often out of their depth and generally speaking when I've uh, met with difficult personalities people who were sort of borderline onto the bullying side of the equation generally speaking they were in roles where they were out of their depth didn't really have the right runs on the board, didn't have the right experience, didn't have the right life experience, didn't have the right uh, sort of emotional intelligence, self-awareness levels, and generally speaking, they they made life a bit difficult. Um, Throughout my life, corporate life, I've learned you've got to learn how to deal with these people because they're everywhere in corporates. You get people all the time who are put into the wrong positions at the wrong time with the wrong qualifications, and you've often got to report to these people. Sometimes you have to be in their teams, you have to be working with them, reporting to them and so on. And there's no two ways about it, you've got to learn how to deal with it. And I think the key to my success in my corporate life was just getting getting by, getting through some of those more difficult personalities, not letting those people uh, get on top of me, um, having a bit of a robust personality myself and being able to kind of deal with anything that sort of came my way. The third thing I've observed is that um, nothing kind of trumps having a good work ethic. You know, there's a lot of people in corporate these days who kind of slip through the cracks, don't do very much work. I, I remember being in a particular environment and this guy had a fancy title, but he literally didn't even do any work in the company. He had his own side business. He had his own side business hustles and he just sort of floated around the office with a pen and a paper, but he actually didn't do very much. And we were always sort of thinking, what does that guy do? And, you know, he actually wasn't really a contributor to the business. So there's always a few people like that in businesses and sometimes they get a away with it sometimes they don't but I feel that having a good work ethic and I mean not working over the top and and working becoming a workaholic but just a good work ethic arriving on time being punctual for board meetings being you know for business meetings being uh, you know very professional in the work environment it always paid dividends for me it always put me in good stead and people appreciated professionalism people appreciated people who didn't leave them in the lurch uh, who would turn up and be present and be uh, in good spirits and delivering the work 
And just finally on that, you know, over the years I'd been assigned to a lot of very difficult, tricky projects, but a good attitude always put you in, in good stead and, you know, enabled you to get a bit of camaraderie going, enabled you to pull in extra resources. People want to work with nice people, friendly people, people who are having a good time getting the work done, even if it's hard work. Uh, you know, you can often, you know, sort of turn a project around with a really good attitude and people having uh, you know a bit of fun on on the hard days so they were kind of my observations and I think you know these days corporations are uh, tricky places to work there are the office politics and so on but look if you come into it with the right attitude you know work hard uh, be pleasant to people don't get involved in the office you know scuttlebutt don't be a nasty sort of person talking about people behind their backs and even when you do encounter either very difficult personalities learn how to deal with them and even if you encounter really awful pieces of work or projects that are really difficult have a good attitude Um, at the end of the day it's not all your problem you've just got to concentrate on your part of the equation and you know always give a little bit more than what you you probably should Uh, that always leaves a good impression with people so you don't have to become a workaholic you don't have to work silly hours but just always be present and available uh, able to help Uh, it will put you in very very good stead so they're my lessons from my corporate life